Hey, Candace. Hi, Justine. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Doing well, thanks. Good to talk with you again. Of course, as always. You know, do you have any suggestions for throwing a great summer party quickly and easily? Yeah, you know, it's all about keeping it simple for you as the host. You want to enjoy your party. And how many times, Candace, have you thrown a party and you're in and out of the kitchen so many times that you don't even remember the party? Way too many. Right? So I don't want that to happen to you guys. I want to keep it really easy. So it's all about recipes that you can either make the night before or the morning of to keep it simple for you. But before we even get to the food, let's start with the drinks. It's a great place to start the party off right now. Here's the thing though, you don't wanna serve a ton of different drinks. You don't wanna be playing bartender all night. You also don't wanna serve anything too heavy that's gonna weigh your guests down, like beer, for example. So wine is a great option. I always serve wine at my parties because all you have to do is just put the bottles out and you're done. Now, I want you to check this out. This is new. This is Refresh by Turning Leaf. It's a new style of wine, so it's slightly fizzy. It's also really refreshing, which is perfect for the summertime, especially if you serve it like I have here, which is chilled over ice. And then they have three different varieties. You always wanna give your guests options. So they have a crisp white, they have a Moscato, a red Moscato and it's only $8 a bottle, so for you as the host, it's a great value. And how about when it comes to meal planning, how can we create an easy and delicious meal? Sure, so let's start with the summer S's, which are salads, slaws, and sandwiches. Now let's start with the slaws and salads that I have here. You wanna take these up a notch. You know, people are used to seeing these things in the summer, but you wanna set your party apart. So here I have a broccoli salad. This looks great and it tastes great. Just a few ingredients. It's just broccoli, raisins, some red onion, some crumbled bacon, which really adds that flavor. And then you mix it with the dressing that's also really easy. It's just mayo, sugar, and balsamic. So mix that all together, let it chill in your fridge overnight, and then you just set it out to serve. That's the whole point with these. You set it out on a big serving table that guests can help themselves to, and you're done. Same thing with this pasta salad that I have here. Now, we've all seen pasta salad a million times, but maybe not like this. This is a tricolor pasta. So again, the presentation is really pretty, but here's the trick. You wanna stew those tomatoes overnight in water, olive oil, some salt, pepper, and oregano. This is what's really gonna give it that flavor. The longer the better. And then in the morning, you mix that with the pasta and then top it off with some things like mozzarella, um, some pepperoni, chickpeas, really tasty. And it gives you that kind of Italian flair too. Yum. Yeah, they're really, really yummy. And of course, slaws. You know, coleslaw is a summer staple that we always see, but everybody loves it. Here's something a little different though. Encourage your guests to put a little bit of that coleslaw on their sandwiches to make what we like to call a summer sloppy joe. And do you have any tips for creating a light and delicious dessert? Yeah, of course. So when it comes to the dessert, you wanna to stick to that summer S theme, salads. A fruit salad is a great way to go because your guests are looking for something sweet at the end of the party, but you don't wanna weigh them down. You don't want anything too heavy, that heavy comfort food. So fruit is a great option. And also fruit is at its peak right now. It's so yummy. Everyone loves having fruit in the summertime. So cut up a bunch of different options, put it all together, let it chill in the fridge throughout the party, and then just bring it out right when you're ready to serve in one of those big plastic bowls. And the best part about those big plastic bowls is that at the end of the party, you throw it away. So your cleanup is just as easy as your prep. And is there anything else we can do to prep around the house to ensure we're not stressed out the day of the party? Well, I mean, the best part about a summer party is that you're doing it outside. So your guests hopefully aren't really even coming into the house too much. The one area that you really want to keep clean and clean up probably the morning of is the bathroom, obviously. But as long as your backyard is in tip top shape, you put out some folding tables and chairs, you're going to be set. You want guests to be mingling and walking around. And that's why we've made it so easy with finger sandwiches, for example, that they can kind of just pick up and go, maybe even just use with a napkin so you don't have to do some formal sit-down meal. And speaking of backyard, what are some great backyard activities for the whole crowd? Sure, so backyard activities, I, you know, it's hot. You don't want everybody to be overexerting themselves. 
I always love board games or word games. A really great idea a friend was telling me about is how these days you can project with one of those mobile projectors pictures onto the side of your house or your garage so you can show a movie. If you want to do like a movie night theme, for example, or show pictures of your guests that you can all have a little fun with. But really, you don't need tons of activities. The whole point here is getting people together that maybe you don't see all the time. It's an excuse to catch up and talk and just be with the people that you care about. That's the most fun. And do you have any additional tips or information you'd like to share? Yeah, I want don't want to forget about the sandwiches. You know, we, we briefly talked about them before. Make sure you have variety with your sandwiches, not just one. You want options for the guests. So you can do wraps in whole wheat or regular. You can do paninis. You could do classic sandwiches. You can even do a meatless option with something like mozzarella and tomato, which is great on focaccia bread. You know, you want the different options, maybe grilled chicken, some cold cuts, just a few different things that pair really nicely with these summer salads and slaws. Again, you can make it all the night before or the morning of, set it out, let guests help themselves, and you're done. And where can we go for more information? Sure. So you can check out turningleaf.com for the great wine, or you can go to my Twitter, which is JN Santanello, and I'm going to be posting tips all summer. Well, thank you so much, Justine. It's always a pleasure speaking with you. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye-bye.